Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am refilming something I filmed last week that didn't turn out so well. So I'm giving it a second go. So a few weeks ago I received a number of products from Erno Laszlo uh, courtesy of Lushly. Hope I'm saying that right. And it included a sample of the Pore Cleansing Clay Mask, which I do have a full size unit of this and I did do a uh, first impression slash mask with me on that mask so I will link that down below for you if you would like to have a look. The full size pore cleansing mask she retails for $48. I also got this sheet mask. It's the Erno Laszlo Exfoliate and Detox Hydro Gel Mask. This gel mask removes dead skin cells to cleanse deep down for a poreless appearance. This mask does contain charcoal to detoxify the skin and there's also an AHA fruit blend that very gently exfoliates the skin. A four mask set of this particular sheet mask retails for $60. And then I got the Hydrate and Nourish Hydra Therapy Skin Vitality Treatment. This is a two-phase moisture mask. And this is a soothing, plumping, peel-off mask that moisturizes and hydrates the skin. You have Provitamin B5, which provides the skin with antioxidants and increases moisture. We also have Comfrey Root to soothe and exfoliate the skin, Zinc Extract Renews, and Calms the skin and this a four piece kit retails for $88 along with the set I received a mini of the Hydra Therapy Memory Sleep Mask which looks like this in the box the Hydra Therapy Memory Sleep Mask melts into your skin, replenishing the moisture it can lose overnight. Smart hydrators boost skin's moisture levels. You'll wake up to hydrated, restored, and refreshed complexion. Now, I'm not going to use that for this video because I'm not getting ready to go to bed. It's 3, 3, 3, 3 o'clock, 3 p.m., um, but Erna Laszlo had previously sent me a full size unit of this, which I have used a number of times. And the texture in this mask is lovely. It looks like I haven't used much, but I promise I have. So this is what the mask itself looks like. And then you can press on it and you get nothing here. And then it just kind of goes back to its normal texture. I just brought some on the back of my hand. So it's got a very interesting gel-like texture. It doesn't feel heavy at all over the skin if you sleep uh, with it overnight. I would like to use this mask a lot more, so I'm going to try to do that during the winter time since my skin has been a little parched uh, with everything that has been going on. Um, I got a little dehydrated, but I'm trying to drink as much water as I typically do. Um, but the dry season here has been really dry. Um, as you probably know, we've had some fires as well, so the environment um, hasn't been treating my skin that well. I am going to try to be using this a lot during the nighttime so that I wake up to more hydrated, supple skin. I received the Multitask Eye Serum Masks. This retails for $35 and I have featured these masks on my videos before. I have favorited them. Um, I love using these right before a big event, say New Year's, Thanksgiving, and you know, just big events, a nice dinner. Um, so I do love to use those um, to minimize the appearance of dark under eye circles, puffiness, fine lines and wrinkles, and really just to refresh and revive vitalize 
the eye area. This does have glycerin, which attracts and holds hydration, and this does help to fill in the lines and minimize the appearance of crow's feet, which tend to show right over here. We have vitamin B3, go to cola, to improve tone and reduce puffiness. I don't think I want to further exfoliate my skin since I just got a facial yesterday. So what I think I am going to do is use my Hydrofel Lotion, which you have seen me use before, and I loved this at the beginning of the year. I'm glad to try it out again. Um, after trying it out last week for the video, I'm going to use a combination of these two products, and then um, because I think we may be going out to dinner, I am going to use the Erno Laszlo Falidal Night Cream, which looks like this. They sent this to me earlier in the year as well. And within the products, they also sent me a scrunchie, which I don't know if I really ever used scrunchies myself when I was like little, but we're just going to put her on anyway. And to prep the skin for masking, I am going to apply this to protect the hairline. And if I do get darker throughout the video, I am self-tanning. And I have been sneezing quite a bit today. And I do have um, a candle on right next to me. And she is quite strong. I do apologize if I get a little nasally, a little sniffly throughout the video. So, um, I did want to let you know that I did cleanse the skin with my Murad Essential C Cleanser. Um, I wish I would not have um, used up my detox cleansing gel by Erna Laszlo so I could have used it for this video, but fortunately I love that way too much that it's now empty so I couldn't use it for this video. Um, so we are going to go in with the Erno Laszlo Hydrofel Skin Supplement here. So the Erno Laszlo Hydrofel Skin Supplement, she retails for $60 and you do receive 6.8 ounces worth of product here. This is a hydrating toning essence that works for nearly all skin concerns to renew dry dull skin. You do have vitamin B5 that gives the skin some antioxidant benefits, comfrey root to soothe skin while it exfoliates to reveal fresh skin. And you also have glycerin here which attracts and holds hydration for a plump glowy look to the skin. You have seen me use this before and I always love to show the texture. So what is this? I don't know why but I always like to apply like all the way. So I didn't even talk or show you my skin at all. But I did have a pretty intense facial last night with 40% glycolic acid. So maybe we can chat about my skin now that it feels comforted. She of course looks very glowy right now. Um, I did have a number of extractions performed last night. But yeah, this is what my skin looks like today. It feels very smooth. Um, tone looks great except for this really sad sunspot. It looks like it's in the shape of a heart. We're still quite congested but I don't want to go in with the clay mask. What I want to do today is just kind of comfort and infuse the skin with some hydration. <laughs> So I am going to be using the Hydrate and Nourish Hydra Therapy Skin Vitality Treatment. This is a two-phase moisture mask. Hopefully this will work this time. The rest of my video last time I actually used the clay mask, um, but for some reason 
I was really cold, so I couldn't stand to leave this on for as long as I, I should have. So the removal process was not as satisfying as as I would have liked. So we're gonna try again this time and maybe this time I uh, will not get cold. Cross your fingers. I know a lot in the last few months I've been complaining about how hot it is in LA, but last time I filmed it was cool and today it's kind of windy and gray out there. So, you know, you can never win. First world problems, right? So, this is your one and two step. Directions are pour step one liquid and step two powder into a glass. Use spatula, which you do receive in the kit. And mix vigorously for 45 to 60 seconds until consistency is a liquid mousse with powdery flex. Smooth mask over the face, avoiding eye area, brows, we'll try to do that, hairline and mouth. Allow mask to dry for 15 to 20 minutes. Peel off mask downward from forehead. Use any excess liquid to remove any residue. I'm gonna try to set a timer this time because I feel like I didn't do that, so I got super anxious and I just wanted to be done with it. We're going to peel her off. This is what the contents look like. It doesn't smell like much. So that's what that looks like. And then we're going to open this babe up. And then we're going to mix her. I wish I had my watch on, but I'm self-tanning, so. And now I have uh, done a mask with me session with one of Erno Laszlo's masks that is similar to this. It's like a, a two-step mask, and I really enjoyed that mask. Um, that was a video that was filmed a long time ago, so maybe I'll link it. Maybe I won't. You can check the bottom bar down below trying to do maybe a better job at mixing this than I did last. Let's see if we succeed. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I'm going to start at the forehead, hopefully, and then we'll work our way down. And I am going to hopefully not get any of it on my brows, but that always fails. And if I fail again, I'm going to upload my first video, which hopefully I still have the footage of that. These masks always make me look very good. So I've applied all of it. I'm going to set my timer for 20 minutes and then um, I'll try to remove her once again. So I'll be right back. So I'm gonna try to remove this once again, I feel like it's going to be this aim issue I had last time since there are some spots that are drier than others. 
but it doesn't feel as sticky as it did last time. Yeah, for some reason, it doesn't feel like the old mask. Oh, maybe it will just kind of peel off. Okay, so we have one bit off. See, so, yeah, the same thing happened last time. I'm gonna try to remove this side. I'm gonna wait anymore. So like some areas, I just didn't do a really good job at applying this over the face. Or maybe I, you know what, maybe I didn't do a good job at mixing it. Because that's the way it should remove and fall on the floor. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of like what's been happening the last three weeks of my life. Yeah, I, I don't think I mixed it well enough. That's how it should come off. So I'm just gonna make my way over to the sink. This looks like a really bad Halloween costume. Dry up a little bit better in some areas. Maybe I just applied too much in some areas. That's what I am thinking, but now I have mask all over my fingers. This it might be my least favorite Erno Laszlo mask that I have ever tried. Both times it has failed. I just think maybe my application really sucked. Um, I am going to remove I'm not going to wash this off, I'm just going to take a cloth to the skin so that I can remove the dry bits because... Okay, so I have removed the mask fully, I think. There's probably still some some debris here along the hairline, which always seems to show its face or itself after I have gotten rid of the towel. Um, how does my skin feel? Um, it feels hydrated, it feels plump, and there's a radiance to it that I didn't have before. So what I am going to do next is I am going to use the um, multitask eye serum masks and I'm gonna leave these on. How long should I leave these on for? I love these so much. This is formulated without parabens, silicones, and colorants. In case you are wondering so this is a multitask eye serum mask. This is fragranced, unfortunately. It is the second to last ingredient in the ingredients deck. Skin feels really good. I just, maybe, maybe I think that what's causing it not to peel off as it should, maybe it's my mixing, or maybe it's the fact that I layered this underneath. 
or it could just be my application where it's thicker in some areas and not thick enough in others so it just kind of sticks to the face um, it has happened twice though so I don't know maybe I just need to leave it on for 30 minutes but that just seems like forever in masking times so you want to apply this to a clean under eye area and you want to leave it on for 10 minutes uh, what after removal all you want to do is massage the excess serum over the eye afterwards I am going to follow it with this eye cream here by Erno Laszlo as well um, so I'm gonna crack open this product and it is packaged as so this is the way it's packaged okay the eye patches themselves have a bit of a texture to them Let's apply a little bit of serum here I'm gonna apply the thicker I think they're both about the even about even sized I'm gonna try to focus on these crow's feet of mine that tend to show up when I smile I'm like, excuse me, where is my other mask? Well, she's in here. In here. Whoops. If you have, like, incredibly puffy eyes, I highly suggest throwing these in the fridge before application so we're gonna hang here for about 10 minutes it is 4 12 and we're just going to mask the eye area okay so I've left these on for far too long but this is what the eyes now look like I'm gonna pat in the Excess. So yes, my eyes do look hydrated, revitalized. Next I'm going to go in with the Erno Laszlo Multitask Eye Gel Cream been loving the applicator of this product. I have taken a wee bit of a break from using um, a mixture of ranges. So I have just been using Drunk Elephant for, I want to say two weeks now. Um, so I haven't used this in a while, but I do love the applicator because all you do is palm and voila you have your product and this bit here just kind of hugs the um, eye area here very very nicely and this has more of a gel cream kind of texture so it is very lightweight but still hydrating to the eye. You do have algae complex. Potent blue-green algae works to nourish, soothe, and tone the eye area. You have plant extract and peptides complex, which are powerful extracts to reduce the appearance of puffiness and under eye bags. You also have apple extract, which is a natural form of vitamin C and pectin to help brighten dark circles. Because the sun sets at like four o'clock now, well, not really 5 o'clock because it's 4.30 and the sun is still somewhat out and we might be going out tonight. I am going to use the Felidal Night Cream. This is might be like the super giant size. I don't know if I've used this before. 
Oh, this has a very lovely scent. I don't know what kind of serum I want to go in with. I don't think I have an Erno Laszlo serum, so I'm just going to use this one by Peter Thomas Roth, which you saw in a favorites video. So I'm just going to use that today. I don't want to use the Drunk Elephant C Firma. So I'm just going to use this much here. Just kind of press that all over the skin. And next we'll go in with the Felital Night Cream. It's about that much. I might actually rinse the self tanner off before we head out, so I'm not going to bring it all the way down. So, I'm going to take this off. And the baby hairs are out of control. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do if I'm going to split this video in two, but to finalize the skincare routine, I am going to go in with the Ula Enriksen Banana Bright Face Primer to prime the skin for makeup. I like to do one full pump of this and just like to press this very gently over the skin. I already have both an eye serum and an eye cream over the eye area, so I'm not going to go in with the Ula Enriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream, which I tend to do from time to time, especially when I wear makeup. So if I do decide to split this video in two parts, so I'm just going to end this video here. Um, this is just an Erno Laszlo kind of mask with me slash prep the skin for a full night of makeup. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video here. Uh, please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And be sure to hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I make a brand new upload. Um, I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye. This is not a good time. I'll be back. So, the Erno... Using the blender, huh?